All right, Mike, thank you. And we are beginning with an all-new app you can download to help support our very own Jacksonville star, Ryan Page, on The X Factor tomorrow. Yes, the live shows continue tomorrow night, and now is when it's most important for us as the viewers because now we have a say in who continues on in the competition, and we really want our Ryan Page to go far. So listen, if you have a smartphone, what you need to do today is download the Shazam app. This is all new technology. X Factor is the first to really debut this. With the app, you can sync it to your television, to the actual show, and you can cast a super vote for Ryan Page or, I mean, for whoever you want to vote for, but I'm hoping you vote for Ryan. And you can cast your vote up to 200 times, and so you don't actually have to go through it 200 times to vote. You'll be able to cast basically a super vote. So that is an awesome, easy way that we can really support our local on the show. Yeah, she's in the top 12. We want to keep her there. She was kind of yes. towards the bottom last week. We want to see her catapult to the top. Exactly. It's very important. So we're just trying to get all the support out for a little Ryan Page that we can. All right, Shazam it is. All right, and more baby news here from Hollywood. Yes, Drew Barrymore is pregnant with baby number two. This is exciting I for know. her. No word yet on how far along she is, but she and hubby Will Kopelman, um, you know, they have a 13-month-old daughter named Olive together. And Drew said in an interview, you back in September that she wants to get pregnant as soon as possible and just have more babies. So she's having a back to back, but this is what she wanted. So congrats. Pregnancy, parenthood, all very becoming on her. Yes. She's totally mellowed she out. She's so, so happy, happy. Yep. and just in a great place. So Okay, and mind blown here this morning. You told me shocking news about Michelle Pfeiffer. Yes, a lot of people did not know about this. Michelle Pfeiffer says she was once in a cult. In a recent interview, what? the 55 year old actress opened up about how she got involved with a very controlling couple who practiced breatharianism, which I had never heard of, but it's the belief that people can live without food and water and basically on air and light alone. I mean, hello, this just sounds completely bizarre to me. It was her ex-husband, actor Peter Horton, who actually saved her life and helped make her realize that it was a cult. Isn't that bizarre? That is absolutely, truly it's shocking. It's so here. crazy. I, she's one of those actresses you kind of picture of having it all together there yeah. in Hollywood. I, and I, I mean, it was like earlier in her career, of course. Maybe, you know, she was searching for, you know, someone to fit in. Or breatharianism. Bizarre. Crazy. All right, I Karen. need my food and water. <laughs> yeah, speaking <laughs> of that, I'm hungry right now. All right. <laughs> Thanks for that. It's 818. Let's toss it over to Tom.